We're just sitting here for a vessel and being used, whatever he wants us to do. Praise God. And you know, he's the potter, like I said earlier he's at the, the beginning. Potter. We're the clay. We're the clay. Amen. And he's willing to mold you to whatever you want to be doing for him. Right. And he can take and put that in your life. Right, brother. And, uh, you know, it's just like when he started using me, he could have got so many other people to do this, Jonathan. Oh, Jesus. But he wouldn't give up on me. You obeyed the Lord, brother. And he kept on me until I finally did it. Amen. But I praise the Lord for that. Got back with the Lord and stuff. Thank you. But, uh, you know, He's got work for everyone. Yes, he does. And there are certain works that he's got for certain people. All right. But everyone has got something to do. And, you know, it's just whether you're willing to do it. Right. That's all it boils down to being. It's just like I said before in programs, I'm just a hillbilly. Oh. You can sit there like a knot on a log or you can get up and do something. Right, brother. When the Lord wants you to do it, do it. You ain't going to go wrong because you will get a blessing. Praise God. You know, you'll see prayers answered. All you right. may have someone in your family been praying for, but have you been doing what the Lord been telling you to do? Right. You know, he, it may be just something simple. You can be a hindering your own self oh, from Jesus. a blessing. Jesus. You can. Woo. And uh, Jonathan, I, there are people out there just sitting there wondering. Right. Well, how can you do all that? Mm -hmm. Well, all it takes is believing in Jesus Christ. Believe. You know, whoever shall believe in him, all things can be done. Amen. Through his name. Because his name has got 40 over the devil. His name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And, uh, there ain't nothing that you can't do in Jesus' Woo! name. Ain't that right, Angie? In Jesus' name. Amen. Got a sis that just walked in the door I hadn't seen in a while. Praise God. But uh, I just give the Lord the praise and the glory oh, for it. Praise. And uh, Jonathan, you got any more to say before we get John up here? I just thank the Lord, praise God, for being here tonight and what the Lord can do. Amen. Amen. Glory. You know, I've been trying to get Jonathan to sing for quite a long time. And we finally got him up here tonight, and uh, we're going to have to get you back over here to do some more singing here before we go off. You got it, brother. And, uh, John, are you ready to come and give us the word? Amen. And uh, we'll get John up here. <coughs> I guess you better get that camera set up over there, too, because I took the mood dead. Yeah, I did. Amen. Yes. Hey, yes. You know. All right. <clears throat> I guess I'm ready to go here. All right. Yes, indeed. Uh, this is John Burkhart, and uh, I am certainly pleased to be with you this evening. Uh, I have nothing to tell you that's, uh, that's n new news for me, but I have a great message that, that's new news, always new news, always fresh from Jesus Christ. I'm his spokesman. Uh, I work for him, and uh, I have nothing that's uh, clever and new for me, but it's all uh, in this great book. Uh, the scriptures that uh, God has spoken, and all I'm trying to do is reiterate what God has spoken. I'd like to remember uh, all of us that we are indeed one people, and that we are brothers and sisters, and that uh, we are destined to live forever. And uh, I think there's one thing that uh, keeps bothering me, that so many people, uh, they uh, go to their church, and uh, they love their pastor, and they love each other, and they're the great family of the Lord, but uh, we need to always be open. Yes, to every, every uh, person who lives and breathes. Uh, some uh, people may say, well, those blacks look kind of different to, than we do. Or those Mexicans look a little rough. Or those Muslims, they are, they're not even Christians. And same thing with those, uh, those Hindus. They don't even believe in Jesus. Uh, I don't know if I uh, really want to associate with them or not. We had better. Because they belong to the Lord just as you and I. Maybe they do not have the good fortune of having faith and understanding Jesus Christ. Maybe they don't have the good fortune of reading this book, but they are the brothers and sisters of God, the same Father that you and I have. And we are commanded by God to love everyone, even though they may not agree with us, may not uh, worship with us, we still worship the same God. We still believe in, in the same supernatural origin and destiny for each one of us. Children of the human race, 
and we love and embrace every human being. But one thing Jesus was famous for was hanging around people who were not good guys, who were a little deviant. We might say, well, they, they, aren't, they aren't Christian or they don't believe in Jesus. Well, how about all the people that Jesus associated with? He associated with people, any people or every people. Didn't, it didn't make any difference. Jesus was accused of hanging around sinners. Wouldn't it be nice if we would have, have people accuse us of the same thing? We are, are excited about the gospel. And the gospel says to love everyone. And that doesn't mean just the good guys, the guys that go to our church, our denomination. Oh, I think those Catholics are kind of strange. Or I think those Baptists are kind of strange. I think those holy rulers are kind of strange. We're all kind of strange. <laughs> we're all different. We're all, we're all wonderful uh, children of God. And we need to be accepting and, and respectful of every human being. And uh, even a, a sinner who, uh, who violates the gospel.